You want to be single all your life or you want to be you married? Take that off if he's bragging your brains right now. Turn that off. Thoughts together and I'm no longer angry. And I'm willing to talk about it. Like I am today, I'm willing to talk about it. And I'm willing to talk about it I don't even know where to start. I'm, I'm kind of annoyed that you're taking that stance knowing that I didn't feel good. It's not that I didn't want to eat with you. It's not that I didn't appreciate the effort that you put into it. I really did not feel good. The massage got to me. Being out too, too long in the day got to me. And I just wasn't feeling well. You've come to my house the couple of days before. It wasn't a problem. I live right around the corner from you. So I don't understand why it was a big deal for you to not want to bring the food over to my house. Okay, and I can answer that clear. If this was understood from the beginning, I was to cook, and I agreed to cook and bring you some food to your house, it would not have been a problem. But see, this is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. That, wasn't, talking. that was an original conversation we had in the beginning. David. So bringing the food is not a problem, but David. that was not the original conversation David. we had in the beginning. David. This is what I mean when I tell you that all you see is a little carpet in front of you and you don't see anything else in the room, no one else's perspective, anything, and you have to loosen up. You have to. Sometimes plans change. Sometimes things come up. I wasn't feeling well. This wasn't um, planned beforehand. It just was a spur of the moment thing. So you have to have a little more patience and consideration and understanding and you can't be so selfish like you were yesterday. I feel like you were being very selfish. I wasn't, I didn't intend to hurt your feelings. I didn't cancel on you. I wasn't trying to be, um, take you for granted or any of that. It has nothing to do with thinking of you as being weak or anything. It had everything to do with me not feeling well. That's it. If I felt well, I would have laid down for a second, took the time on, came over your house, and probably stayed until you went to work. Honestly. You got to get out of your own way. Well, I feel the same way about uh, you on a whole lot of uh, levels as far as I'm understanding. When I have a conversation, I need clarity. You know, I need total clarity. You know, it's like, I don't... Uh, In five minutes after we I, agreed to, for that you were going to cook and call me when it was ready, I texted you and I said, can you just bring it to me? I'm going to lay down. I'm going to take a towel. Now, that was literally five minutes later. You hadn't prepared the meal. You hadn't started cooking. You didn't text me that the food was ready for an hour and a half later. So I texted you within five minutes to say that I was going to lay down. That's clarity. You got an attitude. Okay. You got an attitude okay. and say, oh, that's not going to okay. happen. That's not going to happen. Okay, well, I'm, I'm more or less like this. Uh, I said how I felt about it. You know, like I said, um, that's how I felt about it. You know, because if I'm going to, I'd rather, I don't even know how to say it no other way. I don't know how to say it no other way. Because um, I, I felt the way I felt about that situation, because I was just like, um, it's not like I went to a fast food restaurant. I, this is something that, um, you know, I'm doing reputables, you know, whether it was. She opened up a can of fucking glory greens. Why is he acting like he fucking picked the greens out the fucking yard and washed them out and sauteed them and all that? That's not what he did. He opened the can. You're going to end up single if you don't. <laughs> If you don't start being a Hold on. little bit, a little right bit now. more. Listen. And all of a sudden, just bring it to me. I mean, what would it take? I mean, after you lay down and what would it take to cause you to want to it? Okay. So I'm good. Sounds good to me. Call me when it's ready. You know, because you gave me the choice. Because you gave me the choice. And when you said that, I was in my car about to walk in my apartment feeling lightheaded. So I didn't want to be like, no, all together. Because if you know any, if you ask anybody that knows me, I'm good for just shutting it down. But like, you know what? No, I'm not coming. You're not coming. That's it. That wasn't the case. Okay, well, guess what? Guess what? Just let's leave it like this. You know, when you get in to know somebody, you'll make a lot of mistakes along the way. Right? So are right. you are so are you admitting that you made a mistake in, in hanging up in my face yeah, and being mad at me? Only, only mistake I admit that I made was hanging up on you. That's all I mistake I made. Because I feel in my heart that I um, that I made. 
because you because and because that's my point. Because you can only look at you only see the carpet, David. You don't never see nothing else. All you see is what you want to see. And okay, so what I'm saying is everything you do is right. You figured everything you did was right. So you're gonna be somewhere, then cancel five minutes later. Not only I didn't you, cancel. You call you, you okay, cancel well, you change the plan in five minutes. Yes. You call, you okay, so you feel that's all right. That's okay with you. I communicated with you that I would like for you to bring, stop, stop. I communicated with you that I was going to take a Tylenol and lay down and if you could bring the food to my house. And then when you called me, I reiterated that I do want to see you. I do want the food. I am hungry. Let's do it over here because I'm not feeling well. I didn't cancel. I did not cancel. You live three minutes from me, David. Yeah, and, and I, believe me, I understand that. I understand all of that. So I want to get past that. I want to get past that. It's a whole new day. It's a whole new day. Okay, so if it's a whole new day, why didn't you call me and, and say anything about it then? Why do I have to call you right now? <laughs> you, you know, like I know, you didn't have to call me. You know that. But after you call me, oh, that's immature. That's unattractive. And all these things. No, I didn't say, well, no, 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 no. I said that was childish, and I told you that your behavior yeah, was a turnoff. Yes, and I told you that your behavior was a turnoff because it is a turnoff for me. So I'm, if I'm telling you what you're doing is a turnoff for me, then you can do one of two things. You can choose to adjust your behavior, or you cannot deal with it. Okay, well, I feel the same way about you. You know what I'm saying? In that aspect of it, you know, your behavior was a I wasn't feeling good and I asked you to bring the food to my house. I don't feel like that was wrong behavior. You know that I've been sick all week. I understand the sickness. This is not what I'm talking about. Let me get back because you seem like you're missing a point. No, the point that you're saying is that I changed the plan and I didn't come to your house. And I'm telling you that I didn't come to your house because I wasn't feeling good. And I asked if you could just bring the food to me. That isn't me changing up anything. That's you having no understanding of me not feeling well. That's what that is. If it was any other, if it was any other situation and I was feeling fine and I hadn't been sick all week and I, and I said that, okay, then yeah, that could be me. We'll blame that on me for changing up. But the fact was, I've been sick all week, and I went and had that massage, and that, and that massage got me lightheaded. I wasn't feeling well. So I didn't feel like getting up and getting back in the car and driving. I barely was able to drive home, to be honest. That's why I told you I needed to take a Tylenol, because if you remember, stop. Because if you remember, I told you I hadn't been taking any Tylenols or anything because I'm preparing for this surgery. So the fact that I broke down and I'm taking something for pain means that it's gotten to the point that I'm really, really, really uncomfortable. And you should have understood that. Instead of getting mad at me for not coming to your house three minutes away when you're perfectly fine and healthy and not ill. That to me was selfish. And if you want me to change my opinion and say that it was my fault or I did something wrong, then um, we're, gonna, we're just going to fight about that. Well, I don't want you to change nothing. I think you're entitled to feel the way you want to feel. Like, I'm entitled to feel the way I want to feel. Because like I said, yeah. I do understand that you were sick. I'm just more about what you told me at the time. At the time you was on the phone. Because I could have easily went out and got something to eat and brought to your house with no problem at all. I had to tell nothing about it. I was like, hey, my black friend, what you want to eat? I'll go get it. Don't even worry about it. I know you probably feeling bad. I would have made that one for you with nothing. And in this case, I can't it was listen to you and listen to him. Like, the people say that. Stop with the camera on me. And it the people say it. She must got some <laughs> Some what? <laughs> Somebody said, bruh, just let her win. <laughs> you, you lost already. Stop already, damn. Can we do that? I'm sorry, can we do it? Can we do it? Can we do it? That's up to you, David. I told you, you like to argue and fight too much, and I'm not with that. I'm not with that either. I'm not with that I either. can't tell. With, with this past incident, I just don't agree with it. I just don't agree with the... Uh, okay, but you can't act. You can It's not a change-up. What are you talking about? It wasn't a change-up, David. I didn't feel good. It wasn't a change-up. It's just really for me to cook, and you was going to come over here and just call me. That's my whole thing. Listen. Because that's the I option that you gave me. You said, do you want to come over here and bring a bottle of Chardonnay? Do you want me to just call you when the food is ready? I said, just call me when the food is ready. Because I knew that sitting in my car, I was starting to feel up.
So I'm like, let me just get in the house, get a Tylenol, lay down for a second, drink some water. When he calls me and the food is ready, maybe I'll feel better like getting up. Well, once I got in the house, once I walked up the fucking stairs and determined, no, I'm not going to feel like getting back in my car and driving. Let me just have you bring it over here. Period. I don't understand how that's such a big thing. Well, I tell you what, I tell you what, look, all the customers not necessary. I'm Of course, I'll express myself in a lot of ways. I don't, and I won't ever hang up in your face like you did me. Oh, and I apologize for that because that ain't how I get down. That is not how I get down. I don't like doing that. Okay, so moving forward. So moving yeah, forward. Moving forward is, I want to say this, and we move forward. Anytime if you're dealing with me and I cook for you, you gotta eat here. You gotta eat here. What? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> She walked in the room. Oh, oh, she yeah, walked, no, she, okay. she no, calmed no, down, no. calmed down. She walked in the room, saw that I was on the phone, threw the pillow, and kept walking. Just go ahead and take, you know, the day off. Seven other supervisors and NDOs have gotten sick as well, so. They said, David, you ain't controlling. I won't be going tonight. I'll tell them I'll see you Monday. Hello? I didn't know if she was talking to me or talking to somebody else. No, I'm talking to you. I'm saying, oh, okay. you know, you're right. I'm not going in tonight. That's why I came over here. Uh, we went out to Mimi's. Oh, okay. Got a little you, you something. Could've came over. You, you could have came over here. I didn't go to work today. I called off. I was so pissed off. I called off. Really? Really? Yeah. That's the so small fault you ain't go to work. I couldn't even go to work. <laughs> The fish. Shut up, shut up. I'm about to... So that means you have leftovers then.
I told you I was at my girlfriend's house. I'm not in Lancaster. Okay, I got you. Yes, yes. Should I want that? What did he say? Don't throw the blue face pillows? I need to get one of those blue face pillows. Disrespect to blue face. That's my nephew. I can't disrespect him. Oh, somebody right. already knew that. I don't know who it was. They know his name. They said David. <laughs> To get this old lady married and she is not going for it. I'm not an old lady. Not an old lady. Not an old lady. Oh my god. Okay. We'll be back in a no, couple hours. No, 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 no. <laughs>